The Wall, Wall Street keeps kind of complaining that the retail investors hanging in there won't capitulate, right? I've got a theory, <clears throat> and I think that most uh, have, have, have actually been sort of, you know, they're not fleeing the market per se, but they're going back and they're putting massive amounts of money into passive funds. And I think that's their, I think that is their way of actually uh, dealing with this. And instead of getting out of the market, this notion that they could do, I mean, going into passive funds, the notion that they could do it on their own or through active fund managers, they're giving that ghost up. What are your thoughts? Well, I don't have, uh, you know, you can look at the fund flows and you can see what's going into active and passive and stuff like that. I don't have that information at my command right now. You know, one thing I will say is that what happened with the meme stocks two weeks ago, I really don't believe that was a result of retail investors. I don't, I don't think that was the Wall Street bets crowd. I really don't. I think it was hedge funds. Mm -hmm. You know, what I think what happened was is that, you know, a lot of those meme stocks came down and the shorts got more aggressive and they built up larger short positions. And you had some hedge funds that say, hey, let's see if we can squeeze the shorts. So, you know, when the media reported on this, they said, oh, look, like the meme stocks are back. This is a return to speculation. It's frothy again. I don't think that was the case at all. I like that point. But, and the numbers, the numbers, the sheer numbers, by the way, uh, uh, actually uh, butchers what you were just saying. By the way, I do have the chart you were talking about. So here we had just a little bit of a bounce in the active management. Uh, and it's sort of like, you know, everything started falling apart. And now we've got a huge, a huge, just everyone's giving all their money to passive funds right now. 30 seconds ago, where are you seeing this market from here, Jared? Uh, you know, I think Jackson Hole is going to be a positive event. You know, I think... Uh, I think uh, Powell is going to give us something to chew on. I think there's going to be some dovish notes in there. I think we're going to rally probably for the next couple of weeks, and we're going to put in an interim top, and then things could get ugly from there. All right. Great having you on, my man. Let's talk again real soon. Thank you. Okay, thanks.